Prepare to question everything you thought you knew about Patrick Starr. I'll just go ahead and give it to you. I think that Patrick Starr is a genius and not actually stupid. Let me introduce myself. I am Zane Frost, and today we plunge into the enigmatic depths of Bikini Bottom's beloved but perplexing pink starfish. What if I told you that Patrick's seemingly simple exterior hides a shadowy realm of intelligence? From hidden talents to inexplicable moments of brilliance, we'll journey through the episodes that hint at the unsettling genius lurking in the heart of our favourite star. This is Patrick Starr, The Hidden Genius Conspiracy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because you won't want to miss the revelations that await us in Bikini Bottom. We will explain this theory in four parts. Let's start with part one. Bumbling or brilliant? Unraveling Patrick's Enigma. In the vibrant undersea world of Bikini Bottom, Patrick Starr, the affable pink starfish, is typically perceived as SpongeBob SquarePants, lovably clueless best friend. However, keen-eyed viewers have detected subtle nuances in Patrick's behaviour that hint at a hidden intellect. Or in other words, Patrick may be a genius. One SUS example occurs in the episode titled The Card, where Patrick not only grasps the intricate rules of a complex board game, but strategically outplays the more intellectual characters. This unexpected prowess sparks curiosity. Could Patrick be intentionally masking his true capabilities? I mean, think about it. Partick is usually a dumb character who acts stupid. So is it real? Or is it simply just an act, like I said? Furthermore, in Patrick Smart Pants, an episode that takes a surreal turn, Patrick temporarily becomes a genius after acquiring brain coral. He falls down a cliff, and through this accident, his brain changes and he becomes very smart. The transformation is chillingly abrupt, leaving audiences to question whether Patrick's natural state is, in fact, one of intellectual depth. I don't know. Maybe the writers of the show were trying to hint at something here. Maybe they are trying to show us that Patrick can be smart, but simply chooses or acts stupid by changing his brain with a coral. A disconcerting pattern emerges throughout various episodes, such as The Idiot Box and The Pink Purloiner, where Patrick seemingly stumbles onto ingenious solutions or inadvertently showcases profound insights. The deliberate inclusion of these perplexing moments raises the spine-tingling possibility that Patrick's seemingly dim-witted demeanour might be a carefully crafted facade, concealing a mind far sharper than Bikini Bottom residents realise. As the conspiracy takes shape, the unsettling question lingers. Is Patrick's perceived stupidity a deliberate ruse, masking an eerie brilliance that may hold unforeseen consequences for the underwater community? Part 2. The Silent Sage, Patrick's Whispered Wisdom Delving deeper into the enigma of Patrick Starr's intelligence unveils an unsettling revelation. A series of episodes where Patrick imparts cryptic yet profound wisdom. In The Algae's Always Greener, Plankton switches lives with Meister Crabs, and Patrick, during an encounter with the now villainous Crabs, mysteriously mutters, May I take your hat, sir? This seemingly innocuous phrase, when analysed against the context of the episode, becomes an eerie echo of wisdom transcending the comedic. When saying this phrase, he appears to be intellectual and gentleman, like which really is not anything like the Patrick we know. We know him as a starfish with no manners and just likes to eat and become dirty. Equally chilling is the episode Something Smells, where Patrick, in the midst of SpongeBob's supposed ugly phase, whispers sagely. It's called the Ugly Barnacle. Once there was an ugly barnacle, he was so ugly that everyone died. The end. The brevity and sombre tone of this story make it hauntingly memorable, leaving viewers to ponder whether Patrick is endowed with a deeper understanding of existence. 
the unsettling ambience amplifies in Big Pink Loser, where Patrick, in a nonchalant and almost sinister tone, remarks, The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma, as he casually spills a carton of milk. This unnerving revelation hints at a cognitive depth that contrasts starkly with Patrick's usual carefree demeanour. These peculiar instances, embedded within the fabric of Bikini Bottom's tapestry, reinforce the eerie notion that Patrick Starr may be whispering profound truths amidst the laughter, concealing a wisdom that transcends the humour that surrounds him. Part 3 – Cerebral Shadows – Patrick's Esoteric Symbols As we venture further into the labyrinth of Patrick Starr's hidden genius, Cryptic symbols begin to surface across various episodes, leaving an unsettling aura of mystery. In The Card, an episode where Spongebob creates a trading card based on Patrick, peculiar symbols appear on the e card. One might dismiss these as mere doodles, but a closer examination reveals a pattern that transcends mere coincidence. In the episode Survival of the Idiots, during the iconic hibernation scene, Patrick huddles in a cave adorned with strange hieroglyphs. The origin and meaning of these symbols remain obscured, adding an eerie layer to Patrick's character. The mere fact that he has his own set of symbols, seemingly unknown to the Bikini Bottom world, raises questions about the depth of his intellect. A more obscure reference occurs in The Googly Artiste where Patrick, in his pursuit of becoming an artist, introduces a piece titled The Inner Machinations of My Mind Are an Enigma. This recurrence of the phrase suggests a deliberate insertion of intellectual undertones, subtly challenging the audience to decode the true nature of Patrick's psyche. These enigmatic symbols and hidden messages, scattered like breadcrumbs throughout the series, insinuate that Patrick's intellect may be shrouded in an elaborate tapestry of esoteric knowledge, leaving viewers in a state of both fascination and trepidation. The more we unravel, the deeper the shadows grow. Part 4 – Abyss of Brilliance – The Occult Genius Unveiled as we plunge into the abyss of Patrick's hidden genius, the trail becomes both thrilling and chilling. In the episode Karate Star, Patrick surprisingly exhibits an extraordinary mastery of karate, a stark contrast to his perceived incompetence. The precision and skill he demonstrates in this martial art hint at depths of intellect that defy conventional understanding. A more obscure yet spine-tingling revelation comes in The Secret Box, where Patrick creates an intricate booby-trapped box to conceal a secret. This unsettling display of cunning suggests a level of strategic thinking beyond the realm of ordinary sea life. The episode The Algae's Always Greener unveils an alternate universe where Patrick, in a parallel reality, operates as a savvy businessman sending shivers down the spine as we witness his astute manipulation of power dynamics. In Rockabye by Val, Patrick temporarily takes on the role of a responsible parent, showcasing an unexpected level of maturity. The eerie ambience is further heightened in Chum Caverns, where Patrick navigates Plankton's treacherous Chum Caverns with an uncanny intuition that defies his typical behaviour. These episodes collectively weave a tapestry of Patrick's concealed genius, revealing moments where his intellect transcends the expected, leaving us to grapple with the unsettling notion that beneath his seemingly simple exterior lies a profound enigma. The more we delve, the more the darkness of Patrick's brilliance becomes palpable. To end this episode off, in my opinion, I think that there is more to Patrick. I think that he really is so genius that he acts stupid in order to avoid doing work and just lives off of his friends for his own gain. But that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, comment and subscribe for more. And see you next time.